So far, we have seen in Excel how to execute, monitor the hosts, and schedule the ping function. Other videos on how to build the ping monitor. You will find the link below in the description. In this, we will be monitoring the hosts and display the result in a chart like so. So, let's get started. The start view is the Excel file used in the ping monitor video. For this, visit my GitHub page and select the tech tip folder. Now, download the 09 ping tester file. If you would like to build this file on your own, you can also check out my video on the ping monitor and scheduler. You will find the link below in the description. Create a new sheet and name it logger. In this new sheet, define the first two columns as date and map the next column names to fun host names. You can type in the formula sheet one exclamation first host name. From there, you can pull the bottom right corner of the cell to get the other host names. As you see, they are the same because because the row. So here we manually choose from two, three, four, five, and six to get the other host names. This completes the Excel portion. Now let us switch to the VBA code. Define a global variable called global time counter ping function after clearing the column uh, from the range we will define the walk section so for this we first define the worksheet uh, and reference it to the logger worksheet in order to do this define a variable called s as a worksheet and now we will set this WS to the logger worksheet. Let us get the date and time. So for this, we will define a variable called long log time as date object and set it to the now date object. We will format this log time as date for the two columns respectively. For a successful ping response, we will set the set to one. And for an unsuccessful response, we will set the sales value to zero. With this, we will the entire range with either zero or one, depending upon if the ping function is successful or not. Now, let us go to the start monitoring subroutine where the ending of the whole and set the global counter to value 2. We set the counter value to 2 because the results should be uh, the second row. Now with the subroutine where it checks for idle, go to that line. So increment the global counter by 1 so that the will store the results in the next row. This completes the VBA code part of this video. So now let's switch back to the Excel and press the start button under the monitoring status. This will trigger the monitor subroutine and the ping function will get started. So when we press stop after some time and now switch sheet, we will see some data already populated. 
we will expand the columns to see the current date and time so this data used as a basis for our chart so in order we will select the data from cell G7 or so selecting the range go to the menu insert and select the line chart now the line chart will be automatically created for you for the line charts you can either select line with markers or stack with markers in this example we will use stack line with markers let us change the monitor As you can see in the legend, we can remove the traces with the host names zero by clicking the filter function and unchecking the zero values. Now we have here the host names which has either successful or unsuccessful ping requests. Okay, we still have of the x axis. The x axis currently is number from one to maybe, eight, but we need the time values to be shown. For this, we will select the x-axis and mark the time range. Now, we will get the corresponding time values as the x-axis. Perfect. Now, we have still the issue with the y-axis. So, it's from 0, 0 0.2 and so on until 1, 1.2. But, our results will only have either 1. So, in order to do this, we will the equities and the format axis and we go to the format axis section and set the minimum value to 0 maximum value to 1 uh, as well as the limits 1 limits major to 1 and limits minor to 1 Perfect. Now we have the chart ready. Let us populate with few more data. In order to do this, let's switch back to the A and start the monitoring function. Since we did not change any values in the ping monitoring routine, every three seconds uh, entry will be generated. After some time, if you look up the chart, now we have more data. Okay but let us populate or extend this chart to display or handle more data we can all track and or monitor the devices for up to one day or reference extend the graph for more data points now we see the time is getting clocked so in to display the values in a nice fashion, click format axis and go to the alignment option. Under the alignment options, set the option to vertical. Perfect. This is the task for this view. Now, you might be wondering how to increase this time or the monitoring time. For this, we will switch back to the VBA code and go to the section where it says application that wait and you can change here to maybe two minutes or five minutes or ten minutes whatever time yeah so for another test i'm going to be setting the interval for one minute so this i can do by saying zero zero one call value i switch back to x start the subin start monitoring this way you can as many tests as you like and you can change the time change the interval depending upon your requirement yeah
you can also check my videos on ping tutorials in the description below like and subscribe my channel to see more videos like this i will see you in the next one bye bye